Good evening, guys. Uh, I'm down with uh, food poisoning for the past week, and today I feel uh, much, much better. I hope. You know, it's, it's just recurring. Anyway, um, so since I'm not going anywhere, and I think I should share. I I wanted to do this topic since uh, the MCO since two months ago and uh, I think today will be a good chance to do it because um, it's looking uh, that is going somewhere so uh, what I'm going to tell you guys today is about my Hyundai Accord Mark 1 and the parts sourcing journey so uh my plan is to do a total strip out restoration so that means it will involve all the disassembly of all the exterior parts as well as the interior part of course but um so so that's why i put up a list on exterior parts so this list consists of everything, if not uh, most of the things that is needed uh, to assemble my Honda Accord Mark 1 and I'm sourcing all these parts brand new that means I'm, I'm facing challenges uh, getting parts for 40 years old car, 40 years old Honda in particular, which Honda does not support. You know, it's not like other brands such as Mercedes, uh, which got a dedicated uh, classic car restoration department where the only problem you have is not having enough money but not having uh, but not uh, having difficulty in sourcing parts so what I did okay I think I'll show you now so what I did you can see that um, this is the list I call it the stage 1 list the exterior correction so I have to go through all the exterior diagrams you know the diagrams they use um, for the assembly line back then so uh, you should see this link here so all these are parts number okay of different parts so I have like bumper I have like door and side profile I have uh, front okay and rear right and then of course uh, with some roof and wheels so um the reason i show you guys today is because the list is kind of uh you know getting somewhere is i would say close to 60 or 70 percent you know uh it's those this this these are parts that i either bought or i know who got it and i actually talked to them already so it's, uh, it's in the process of getting it or I already got it or in the process of delivering and stuff like that. So, um, so today's video, I just want to tell you guys that if you are really, really serious and really keen on restoring a car to perfection, well, um, I understand that I, and I respect that certain people like to restore whatever is on the car okay and modify accordingly that's that's um that is totally acceptable and totally you know uh, workable but my approach is to um get all the parts ready yeah new ready because in the process of this the these assembling these parts you run in, you are running into a you're running into risk of breaking them and very often and very highly uh, high, high likely that it will get 
broken because uh, it's a 40 years old part on the car you know out there in the elements all these years so honestly i'm I, i'm not a supporter for wasting parts because uh, these parts are very difficult to source and um, i'm just getting them ready in case they got broken i will try to restore them as much as possible so uh, if you're really keen please study all the parts number and then do your own homework and then you know push this list out to the public and and see who got it right so uh, once these parts are ready uh, basically once I source everything I need I will start stripping the car apart so I, I have these parts ready and uh, the car will sit in the painter in the spray painter place for longer than it should you know um, the spray painter shouldn't be waiting for parts owners should do their parts do their knowledge right unless you are telling me that you are a checkbook restorer where you just write a blank check uh, sign your name and then let your spray painter or body guy fill up the figure if not and you're really keen to learn uh, your car properly down to what bolt what nuts what kind of measurements that goes into these cars uh, I'm not a purist to be honest but I want my products my end product to be neat and proper okay i'm not purist I, i'm not going for uh the ultimate original if it's not practical okay there are certain things certain technology that went into making these cars back in those days that would not be sustainable for the next 40 years then I will make the improvement okay so I'm not purist in that sense but my stuff my 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 works have to be proper neat so that is why I'm very OCD on on uh, the diagrams what bolts go into what okay and it's not a cut corner kind of project so yep so all, once uh, so today i just want to share what i've been doing in sourcing parts i i i, I did this since february so it's f four months ago and i thought i will take at least two to three years to only to source part but apparently you know I'm quite surprised that it goes on in a relatively uh, encouraging pace so let's see uh, how long this will ultimately takes and uh, once these are ready that's when the excitement starts you start to strip the car apart and you start to see more rust and you start to see more nightmares now that is where the fun really starts uh, and then you fix the rust you're like fuck this shit you said like, what the hell i got myself into you know but you're not giving up right you just you, you're just going to strive on work with your body guy work with them work with your good teammates and then you know make something happen and then once the skeleton the body is healthy properly sorted now you refer back to your diagram and then things starts to go, go into the car right yeah right see you guys